For this video, I will just be straightening my hair. Um, I already washed my hair. I kept them in these twists as I washed them just because I didn't want to take them out and tangle up my hair. So I washed my hair in these twists, but I will be taking them down, running a comb through it, and adding some heat protectant. Um, the heat protectant that I usually use is just the Tresemme one. So this is what it looks like. Um, now for the blow drying process, I tried to use this blow dryer again and it just doesn't work for me. I know a lot of people tell me, well, you did this wrong, you did this wrong, try this, do it this way. It's just too much for me. It doesn't suit my lifestyle and it just doesn't work for me and that is okay. Um, but I'm not one to try and force a product to work for me. This doesn't work for me and it doesn't give me the results that I'm looking for and that's okay. But if you choose to try it out, you go right ahead and do so. Um, but feel free to refrain from all the comments telling me how I did it wrong or 50,000 ways to do it better. I'm okay. Okay, and I know at this point I may sound like a broken record, but I know I can say it so many times and people just still won't hear what I'm saying. Um, but I do just want to state that I have tried to use this blow dryer with smaller pieces and with it being more damp and with me doing whatever else people have suggested, it just doesn't work for me. And that's okay. I don't think it's a terrible brand or the worst thing ever. It's just not suitable for what I'm looking for. Um, with any product, I don't believe that it's going to work for 100% of the people who purchase it. And that's okay. I mean, there's plenty of options. So I just want to state that I have tried to use this in other ways and I'm okay with it not working for me. I just went back to what I did before. My main reason for trying to use this is because I thought that it could um, help with damage or preventing damage for my hair when I blow dry it, but I'm okay with using the blow dryer with a comb attachment. It works perfectly fine for me. I just was, wanted to try this out and see what would happen.
So this is my hair after I'm done blow drying it. I kind of gave up on the whole rare vair blow dryer and ended up going to a regular blow dryer with a comb attachment just because that gives me what I need when it comes to like the kinks in my hair. It's just what I prefer and what I'll probably be sticking to for the most part. Um, but this is me kind of talking about why I went from using the rare vair to going to the regular blow dryer with a comb attachment but that was all kind of irrelevant. I just ended up switching and this is what it looks like. So I kept this clip in just to show what my hair looked like after I was done blow drying it. Also, I do just want to point out that I don't really do hard presses on my hair or I don't straighten my hair. Like I don't need it to be bone straight. Um, I don't mind the fluffier look or a look that is, I guess, has more volume. Uh, my goal is not to burn my hair out to get it super straight. That's just not what I'm looking to do. So you'll notice that my hair is kind of poofy um, after I'm done doing it. But that's okay because the way that I wear my hair or how I have my hair pressed or straightened, it'll change throughout the time of me wearing it. So when I straighten my hair, I don't always use like the chase method. I just use it more towards the back if I am going to use it um, for like my kinkier areas because the peri perimeter of my hair is where my hair is a lot tighter. So I'll probably use it for those areas. But for the most part, when I used to straighten my hair all the time, it wasn't necessary. My hair held heat pretty decently. It would stay straight. So I didn't have to do all the extra to get straight hair. Now that I'm not wearing my hair straightened as often and I'm not putting as much heat on it, it may not hold the way that it used to. So I'll use the comb every now and then, but also I did use a blow dryer that doesn't really help when it comes to those kinks. So you'll see me using the comb um, for the chase method. And towards the root of my hair, my hair may look a little, not stiff, but it does look a little greasy in some areas to me. And that's because when I was doing my hair, I can never get product out of my hair when I wash it. Whether that be a deep conditioner, a leave-in conditioner, regular conditioner, anything. I just can't rinse all the product out. It takes a while before it comes out. So in this, I had some conditioner still left in my hair and I didn't wash it out, but I had already blow dried my hair. So I wasn't going to go back to washing my hair again and blow drying again that's just not something that i do i know the conditioner will wear off within like the a day or two like the next day it wasn't as stiff it didn't have as many issues when it came to um the conditioner being left behind so off camera i did end up giving myself a trim um at this point that trim probably doesn't look the same because since then i have um cut my hair just because I've worn my hair in different styles and I just can't take the straight stringy pieces that don't mix with the rest of my hair. So I have been trimming and cutting pieces that I probably shouldn't be cutting. But I did cut my hair off camera for this just because I know people aren't really a fan of me cutting my hair because I just hack away with some scissors and call it a day.
so that is it for this video i do have a few other videos um on the topic of my straight hair how i maintain it and whatnot so those should be coming up shortly after this but thank you for watching this video 